step one, you're going to practice shifting all your body weight onto your toe and side of your foot. Now shift your body weight onto your toe and lift up other leg. Now in step two, you're going to do step one and shift over onto your other leg and repeat step one. Notice the way you turn your body so you can shift your body weight to the other leg. Step one is started by placing elbow in midsection of body. Now arms alternate pushing off the ground while right wrist turns body. Notice how right hand turns to the right. Step two is done by bringing left leg sweeping over and under right leg into position for jackhammer. That way you get your motion started in a circular movement. Step three, do steps one and two. Alternate hands while twisting right hand to keep body in circular motion. Step one is started in seated squatted position. Lean back on hands, kick out left leg. Full body up front. Again, lean back on hands, kick left leg, full body up front. In step one, practice the arm movements. Up and down, much like when you use a hammer. Now switch arms, up and down, like a hammer. Practice popping at the end of the movement. That gives it a more mechanical and robotic action. In step two, you practice the twisting of the wrist much like when you say hello or when you go to open a doorknob. In step three, you will practice pivoting on your heels and turning left to right. Remember, pivot on your heels. 
Now practice leaning while turning. Remember to keep your body straight. There can be many variations to the robot. Just make sure that you keep it mechanical and the movements flowing. Step one is started in a half split position. Lay back, kick leg fully around. Keep in V position and then close legs and ball into backspin. Again in half split position with body angle, kick leg over body followed by other leg into backspin position. In step two, you want to practice keeping tightly balled up in backspin position. You want to spin in between your lower back, right on the center. Try to ball up your body as tight as you can on your backspin. That way you will have less resistance when you're spinning on the ground. From a turntable position, it is similar to spinning from half split position. Just dip your shoulder down, now kick your leg, and ball up to backspin position. Step one is done from six step position. Turn body over onto forearm, lifting up right back leg. Now fully turn your body over putting all your weight onto your elbow, landing on your right leg. 